what's good youtube we back with another video and i just want to let you guys know i do got the same outfit on because i just got done making my last video but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys this new little vst that came out not too long ago i actually discovered it scrolling on instagram and i thought the sounds were pretty nice so i decided why not purchase it and give it a shot so the plugin that we're going to be using is called tempo and you can easily open it up with contact player and we already have it right here so let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys what the hype is about so this is how it looks uh the interface might be a little bit uh daunting at first but it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it i've only been messing around for about an hour or two and you know i pretty much got all this stuff down could use some work on a few things but for the most part i can make a beat with it but uh, yeah, this section right here is for sound design. This is where you'll add your effects. They have flangers, phasers, uh, some effects you probably haven't heard of. And then, you know, you can add vinyl, room noise, and cassette noises. And yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And then up here, you also have a few extra uh, options for effects. I haven't really played with this section yet, so I don't really know how to use it. But uh, once I get that down, I'm going to be uh, making something crazy probably. But right down here is the kit selection and then the beat selection. So this is where you'll select your drum kit. And then right here, you can uh, select like some pre it's like presets for effects and um, some patterns they have built in basically. So I'm not really going to play around too much. I'm just going to get... Uh, or that. let me see how this sounds yep sounds perfect so basically let me show you guys how it sounds and uh yeah show you show you guys what i like so much about this So yeah, I'm not the best finger drummer in the world, but uh, I love this kit so much because the sounds on here are phenomenal. They have some realistic sounding drums. They have some that aren't too realistic, but they have a pretty good amount of realistic sounding drums and I love them for the most part. Let's load up another preset here and play it around with that. Let's see, Poindexter. So yeah, another good kit, and let's just go ahead and record a pattern, and then we'll play around with the effects, and maybe get a beat going. Let's add a drum roll to that. We're gonna go with that. Let's go ahead and drop in a sample. All right, we got the sample chopped up. Let's just play around with the pitch and then, yeah, let's go. effects while the beat going
I want to show you guys is say if you're using this VST and you wanted to add some side chain to the sample uh, directly from the kick. That's not really an option here because if you go to contact seven, it doesn't give you the option to just have side chain coming from the kick. So one thing I do is I copy or duplicate this and delete all these other notes. Just leave the kick just like that. Then I go ahead and get a random sound. Like that. Put it there. Now it's on the same note as the kick. And we can go ahead and send the side chain. And so you have to put it on either pre effects or post effects, which we'll is go with post. And then now you're going to have side chain. <laughs> pretty much going to do it for this video uh, I don't really know how to use this effect that much I just want to give you guys a, a quick little review on this and put you guys on game being that this uh, VST just came out like a month or two ago so uh, yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you uh, are thinking about copying this and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed peace out